Hi. In this uh, video, I would like to make it very simple for you to understand how to solve a problem under Gauss's law. The problem gives a large flat plane sheet. It's horizontal. It's charged positively. The charge density is mentioned. We have to find the flux that passes through a area, the circular area, which is inclined to the horizontal. The normal to the circular area therefore makes an angle with the vertical. The x, y, z axis are mentioned and we have to take care that we are drawing the axis correctly and that should be mutually perpendicular. A caution point here is to note the wording of the problem. It's given that it's a large flat surface or sheet of charge. It doesn't talk about a thickness. It does not say it's a conducting surface or sheet. Therefore, we have to be careful and choose the equation for just a large plane surface. We should not assume a conducting surface. In that case, for any point which is near to such a plane surface, the electric field E will be equal to half of sigma by epsilon zero. If you take care of this, then we can go to the next step. Let's now sketch the problem. We should first draw the xy plane, which is charged. That's the green colored plane. And you can see those positive signs on top of it, which shows it's charged. Therefore, the flux lines coming out from that green plane will point upwards. There will be also flux lines pointing downwards below the plane. The x and y axis are shown in red color and the vertical z axis is shown in white color. Having taken care of that, the circular area which is inclined to the horizontal, which is given in the problem, is the blue colored one. Therefore, the normal to the circular area is the arrow shown in yellow color that will be inclined to the vertical. What we are doing here is to check the difference in direction between the flux lines and the normal to the area. Having said that, there is a small triangle on the top and you can see the area vector dA which is along the yellow arrow direction. Therefore, the vertical component of the area vector will be dA cos theta. What we are trying to do is to align dA cos theta with the direction of the flux lines coming out from the charged plate. Therefore, if the electric field vector, E vector, and the area vector, dA cos theta, are all aligned, we can calculate the flux coming out through the circular area. The job is to find the flux flowing through the circular area. Now it becomes uh, easier to solve the problem. The flux flowing through the circular disk will be equal to the electric field vector into the area vector. E as we saw before is half into sigma by epsilon zero. The area vector is area of that circular disk which is pi r squared into cos 30. Doing all the multiplication, you will get flux as 4000 Newton meter square per coulomb. I hope this uh, really looked uh, very, very simple for you. A quick look at the units. So the E is Newtons per coulomb, electric field. The unit for area is meter squared. So when you multiply both, that's how you get Newton meter square per coulomb. If you found this video useful, please put a like and share it with friends. Subscribe to my channel. Do log in into my website or you can also download the app. Thanks once again for your time and have a great day.